para o posto de Marcelia Fomiti? Brother Mario Camarongan, I did make Corsillo in February 1986 at Mount Mary Immaculate in Lafayette, Corsillo number 34, the Korea of St. James. Yay! To our friends who are non-Corsillistas, that is our standard introduction. It's like saying your, your rank, your number, things like that in the military. So I'd like to thank the organizers, uh, HCC uh, Post Corsillo. Good job. I'd like to welcome uh, Corsilistas and non corsilistas alike. Thank you for being here. Um, there are many options actually that's available to anyone. Uh, it could be a vacation, but you choose to be here today. So it's, it's wonderful that you are here. My wife and I always make it a point to be here uh, during Linton retreat because we want to have clarity, clarity for ourselves. Sometimes we have to step outside of ourselves uh, to see things as they really are. It is easy to lose sight of the big picture when we are caught up in the day-to-day -day details of our lives and business. Okay, when we step away from our daily lives and get some distance, it becomes easier to see how we got to where we are and what the way forward is. Sometimes it is impossible to receive the very important messages that are waiting for us from the divine amidst the declutter and distractions of our daily lives, whether it is a new business venture or a new love relationship. Oftentimes the answers and informations are waiting for us. We just need to be in a space where we can hear them, such as this wonderful place. This busy modern world of computers and cell phones and social media has many of us wired in and constantly stimulated, taking some time to unplug. And being in this type of environment makes all the difference in the world. If we think about everything that we do and how much effort goes into serving our friends, our loved ones, and our colleagues, then we know that we need some downtime to reconnect with our source. Remember, when we fly, there's a reminder that tells us to put our oxygen mask first before assisting others. This is the same thing. We all need a breath of fresh air from time to time to enable us to continue to be effective at what we do in our lives. So leave your worries behind. You are here today, so please be here. Okay? Our Corsidio FCC are so happy to have you all here. Thank you and enjoy the day. Thank you, Brother Mario. Such a nice radio. <laughs> okay, uh, we will, then we will have the City of God as an opening song. Brother Noli is our musical director.
Pitiniata. Anyway, uh, let's sit down and well, I'll graduate for the opening prayer. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. We also remember this day as a commemoration for the Annunciation of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we pray. Yeah. Lord God, we bless you and are filled with gratitude for the numerous gifts, the countless blessings that come to us from you. Give us light and strength to know your will, to make it our own, and to live it in our lives. Unite us to yourselves in the bond of love and keep us faithful to all that is true. May everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your help so that all our prayers and works may begin in you and by you be happily ended. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we have from you all that we are, through your grace, we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to uh, discuss with you the schedule of activities, but before then, I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, <laughs> I am your sister Clarita Perez. I lead my Corsilio on uh, September of 1998, Corsilio number 58, and my decoria is Saint Elizabeth <laughs> of Hungary. Right? I've been uh, thinking whether what kind of, oh, who is that Elizabeth, St. Elizabeth, until I found my old uh, files and I saw it's St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Okay, uh, I know you already know where the bathroom is, so I don't have to explain that. So we start with, um, okay, can we have the schedule of activities? Okay, so at 9 a.m. immediately after I talk, uh, we start with session one. And then at 10 a.m. there will be a 15 minute question and answers for you. And then there will be a break at 10.15. 10.30 we start with session two. Until 11.30 where we have the Q&A. At 11.45 we have the lunch. Yay! Yay. And at 12.30 to 1.30 will be the confessions and we might, and we have two priests. At 12, at 1.30, there will be the Stations of the Cross, and at 2.30 will be the Mass. And our celebrant is Father William Rosario because, oh, I don't have to explain. Um, all of this from 12.30 will be in the church at across the street until we have the liturgy, and then we come back here for the, at 3.30, after the Mass, we will have the joint ultraya. And everybody, whether you're corselistas or not, are welcome to join the ultraya refreshments. Okay, so without further ado, let me call on Sister Evelyn Isidro to introduce our retreat master. Yay. 